at Fort Vancouver Historical Gardens and it's one of my favorite gardens in the world and they're grown veggies and fruits and flowers here for hundreds of years organically and they fed thousands and thousands of people. Right now it's pretty much managed by volunteers of Fort Vancouver but a lot of the plants and the flowers are very much historical and would have been the same types of plants that they grew back in 100, 200 years ago. So this is a really pretty garden. It's elderly. I really love this hops tunnel. I think it's just gorgeous and so easy. And hops can be used for so many purposes. And as you get out of the hops tunnel, you see all of these chives just pop with the purple colors and then they've got these little TP type growing systems. Completely natural. They didn't have plastic to use back then, so everything's made out of wood. They only use compost. And they use a lot of beneficial plants like chives and peppermint to attract pollinators and also distract damaging insects. So it's a win-win for everybody. And it's just really pretty how they organized it. These mound gardens are really effective. They've got lots of heritage and very old crops and vegetables and fruits that they're growing here. You can see the bastion in the background. And I really like how they're using canvas as well, a burlap, and as a, a barrier too, so that squirrels. I'm sure the kids still get in, rabbits don't get in, but it still works. They've got all these mounds that they're using as well. Lots of zinnias and flowers to attract pollinators. These peas are growing up, these natural trellises. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous garden and these herb circles. Medicine mills are very, very pretty and very effective. It's a beautiful garden in Vancouver, Washington, just across the river from Portland, Oregon. It's got a really dynamic history, and there's a fur trading, all types of trading posts for hundreds of years, and it, there's a lot of stories that come out of this place, and a lot of beautiful flowers, especially these delphinium with the bachelor buttons. Just pop. So if you're ever in this area, Take a drive. Come on over to the other side of the river and visit Vancouver, Washington, and Fort Vancouver Historical Gardens. It's a really